Hey everyone, I'm uh, using a different camera, so if uh, this looks a little blurrier than usual, that's why. It's really weird, the camera takes really nice, like, pictures. Uh, they come out really nice, there's some bad glare, I gotta find a way around that. But for some reason, video... Oh, yeah, careful there, Dot. Cat's in here. I'll step on that, Dot. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I watched the new episode, or the, well, next episode of Lightspeed Rescue a couple days ago. Um, so I'm a little fuzzy on details. So I have notes on my other phone here. Yeah, you will that. Okay, anyway. Uh, plot synopsis. Diabolico, the bad guy, he's making new plans. Uh, the three monsters from before are still around. He gives them this uh, weird mirror card. I don't know what it does. Or I'm not, like, or I know what it does. I saw the episode, obviously. But I don't know where it came from. Because uh, Jinxer, when Diabolico pulled out the three cards for the monsters, Jinxer said, those are your last three monsters. So are there also cards that aren't monsters? Is this like, um, like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Digimon Tamers? Where they have, like, different cards that do different things? What other kind of weird cards do the bad guys have? Like, do they have a card that'll give their monster, like, extra ammunition or something? If they have weapon? Whatever. Anyway, getting off topic. Let's see. Back at the Aqua Base, Ryan's being shown around. And, uh, everyone's, like, really friendly with him. Everyone, like, immediately trusts him. This is, like, it's like My Little Pony. <laughs> they're the bad guy, and as soon as they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Everything's cool. So anyway, uh, he's being shown around. Him and his father are beginning to bond. But then he remembers that uh, Cobra tattoo that Diabolico gave him. Uh, that cursed tattoo that's moving up his back every time he morphs. And, let's see, he goes into his room and he checks. Yep, still there. It doesn't really make too much sense, but, you know, it's dramatic. It works as in the TV show in the context of that. Anyway, oh, cat went in the other room. <laughs> anyway, uh, Carter comes in, he sees the tattoo on Ryan, but he doesn't have the time to, like, ask him about it, uh, because Ryan immediately, like, goes somewhere else. Anyway, the monsters attack, the rangers go to fight the monsters, and, oh yeah, there's a really cool fight scene here with the rangers and the monsters. Ryan's up on top of this thing. I don't remember what it was. Again, I watched it a few days ago. I've been working a lot lately, so uh, I don't have a whole lot of free time at the moment. Anyway, the Cobra Tattoo remembers, oh yeah, every time this guy morphs, I'm supposed to hurt him, aren't I? And so anyway, uh, Ryan's hurt, he falls off the thing, the Rangers go over to help him, and uh, but they don't have any time to ask him anything because Demonite, oh yeah, that's something, we finally learn one of the monster's names, Demonite. The other two are Thunderon and Falcon, and I don't think they say their names ever in these couple of episodes. They say them in the last episode that they're in, I think. Anyway, uh, Demonite uses the mirror card to create a double of himself. Huh. Alright. So anyway, uh, the double fights Ryan. The other rangers fight the rest of the monsters. Uh, looking at my notes here, because I'm... Drawing a blank on what happens next, uh, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, in a battle with the double, Carter finds out that if you shoot the double, then the real demonite will also feel it and take damage. So, let's see. There's a part where, let's see, the rangers are, oh, yeah, they're evading the monsters. Carter manages to corner demonite. He, uh, pulls, like, a couple of weapons. He has them, like up against the wall, and then there's like a weird little bit of body language, it doesn't quite work, where uh, Demonite uh, is yelling, do it, do it, F fire at close range, and there's a part where he like, cowers, and dot, get off the thing. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, had to get my cat off the table there. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> she wants attention lately. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, there's a weird little bit of body language where it looks like Demonite's cowering from Carter, but the American voice coming out says, do it, do it, and it's really confident, and 
I think I saw this in the Japanese version. Or I did watch all the Japanese versions, so I, I don't remember what exactly the context of the scene was, but I think he actually was cowering and afraid in the Japanese version. So it's, it's kind of interesting, anyway. Uh, Carter doesn't fire at close range, because that would be reckless, he'd hurt himself. And then he turns around and... Yeah, leaves his back wide open for Demonite to attack, which is really weird. Anyway, let's see. Looking at my notes here, because, again, a couple days ago I saw the episode. It's not that fresh in my mind. Uh, let's see. Okay, after Demonite, like, attacks Carter, Carter's able to deflect the attack, blow up Demonite. But this is Power Rangers, and a dead monster isn't really dead. They're going to come back. So, let's see, Demonite comes back giant, the rangers call the zords, there's that whole thing. Let's see, oh, and there's a cool little bit where, let's see, because they blew up Demonite, the clone Demonite also blew up, Ryan goes over to congratulate the rangers and their zords. And I don't know what my cat's doing over there, running around in circles. Yeah, hi there. I'm more active than usual. <laughs> She's an older kitty, so it's weird to see her jumping around like that. Anyway. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, it's really weird to see, like, I'm pretty sure it's Japanese footage of the Zords and Ryan standing in front of there. What are you looking at? I don't know what she's looking at. Anyway, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, and, uh, oh yeah, at the, at the end of the episode, oh, and I just realized I made a typo in my notes here. There, fix that. Anyway, at, back at the Aqua Base, uh... Ryan is talking, oh yeah, Ryan's talking to Carter about the tattoo, Captain Mitchell overhears, and so he knows about the tattoo now, and he lets them know right away, which is kind of interesting, like, you kind of expect him to keep it secret that he knows. I think that's just a thing that's, like, pre-programmed, like, it's drilled into my brain from, it feels like it should be what's happening, because it's such a cliche, it's such a trope that happens so often in shows like superhero shows sci-fi fantasy shows where someone's keeping a secret for no reason like yeah there is no reason for mitchell to keep it secret that he overheard ryan and carter talking so i kind of like that this plays against that and just has them come right out and say that okay we know about the tattoo now and so that means you're not morphing anymore and that's where the episode ends and there's a bit more really interesting stuff about it Oh, and I want to say, I really like the Cobra tattoo concept. It's such a cool thing. And I swear on the Ranger Wiki, there used to be a reference to, in the trivia notes thing, back to uh, some old Sentai episode, where there was a tattoo of some sort moving up someone's body to kill them. They did that in Akiba Ranger, but I don't know if it was, like, specifically a reference to this light speed thing or the older Sentai episode. Was it Goggle 5? I don't remember now. Was it 5, man? I don't remember for sure. And it's not on the Ranger Wiki anymore, which leads into the next thing. The Ranger Wiki is really weird, <laughs> especially when it comes to, like, the trivia and errors thing. There, I've seen some other people uh, mention this, and I think even, like, the moderator or whoever for Ranger Wiki has, like, said, do not, you know, post pedantic stuff like this. Um, let's see, anyway. In the errors section, let's see. When the Cobra starts climbing up Ryan's body, the zippers from his back and boots are seen. And I remember I read that for the first time, and I was like... What's the error? <laughs> and I was like, okay, the when the Cobra starts climbing up Ryan's body, back, whatever, the zippers from his back and his boots are seen. And I was like, was he not wearing his suit when it first climbed up? And I was, I remembered, no, he was wearing the suit, so what's the error? And then I realized the error is the zipper from the suit, which, is that an error? Like, Power Rangers has, like, never been shy about, like, trying to, I don't know, like, disguise that these are costumes. 
they always show the zippers on the suits. It's not a big deal. The old helmets on Mighty in Mighty Morphin had little clasps on the outside that didn't match with the Japanese footage. So that was a very strange error to list. Like, and for this of all episodes, like, I'm sure there's been other episodes where you could clearly make out the zippers on the suits. And also, it's not like it's a Bigfoot suit or a monster suit. Then I could understand this, but this is the Ranger suit for light speed. The light speed suits aren't fantasy based. They're like science fiction, they're military technology. So why wouldn't they have z zippers? Zippers are human technology. Like, say if Diabolico turned around and there was obviously a zipper on his back, then yeah, I'd say, okay, that could pass as an error, but saying the ranger suits, that's a stretch. Anyway, the other one is just really funny because of grammatical reasons. At the docks, some of the storage containers have Japanese writing, period, space, due to a Sentai footage, period. And I just thought that was really funny. Oh, and they randomly capitalized a uh, Sentai footage. The S and F of Sentai footage are capitalized, and I don't know why. What are you doing there, Dot? <laughs> Making some noise. Anyway, so I thought that was weird because the storage containers uh, having Japanese writing, whatever, on them. Is that really an error at docks? Like, I don't know, maybe it's merchandise or stuff coming in from Japan. Like, I, I've been working at a distribution center. We get stuff from Korea. There's uh, Korean letters on, on stuff. And also, like, the period and then due to a Sentai footage. I have no idea what in the world is going on there. And, uh, oh, and then there was an interesting thing in the notes. Let's see. Apparently, when Disney re-ran this episode, a scene of a burning building was cut. So I was like, okay, I could totally see that happening. Which scene of a burning building? This is Lightspeed Rescue. There's a lot of burning buildings. <laughs> There's a lot of building destruction in general in Power Rangers, and it... I've always thought it was so strange that, uh, like... Uh, was it? When Fox Kids edited episodes, like, cut out, like, building destruction scenes, it was usually, like, more for time, more than, like, building destruction. When Time Force came out, that was in 2001, after the 9-11 fiasco thing. <laughs> that sounds like it's, uh, really playing it down. Uh, after the 9-11 tragedy, whatever. Hope YouTube doesn't strike me for this. Just because I said 9-11. Oh, jeez, I said it again. YouTube's gonna kill me. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. They cut scenes from Time Force because of that. Because it looks a little too much like that. And I get it. That makes sense. Uh, in Wild Force, there really wasn't a whole lot of building destruction. Because a lot of it was, like, in the forest. In, like, a kind of a fantasy setting. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff, like, in a city itself with buildings to get destroyed. But then when Disney took over, there was a lot of stuff that seemed to get cut and chopped around, and I don't know if it was all them or, or what was going on, but anyway, um, I don't know what point I was trying to make, but anyway. Yeah, oh yeah, the, uh, scene from Lightspeed of a building. Like, why random episodes? Like, sometimes things are totally okay, other times things are not okay. It's like... Uh, the 2010 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I read an interview with one of the guys in charge of, like, the the production of that show, and he was saying that there was a bunch of stuff that had to be edited that couldn't be shown on television because standards had changed or whatever since Mighty Morphin had originally aired. And it was really strange because the previous year was RPM. And... Like, if you've seen RPM, if you know RPM, you know, they got away with a lot. So why was, why were things allowed in RPM, and then all of a sudden, Mighty Morphin of all things, no, this was way too extreme, we can't, you know, have this or that in Mighty Morphin. Anyway, um, kind of went off topic there, but yeah, 
there's my thoughts on the last Lightspeed episode. Hope you enjoyed this. This is going on a, a little while longer than I expected it to, but yeah, see ya.